Hey guys, welcome back. I'm about to head to Aldi to do some grocery shopping and I saw in their ad that they have some new keto stuff. So while I'm in there, I'm gonna see what I can find and then I'll come back and show you what I got. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to film an Aldi grocery haul for you. I go to Aldi probably once every two weeks and there are a few things here that I get every time I go and then they actually had some new stuff. So I thought that I would share some of these things with you and tell you a little bit about how I like to use them throughout the week. So I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I have some frozen vegetables. I love getting these at Aldi because they are quite a bit cheaper than some of the other stores and they have a really great selection. So I really like these extra fine green beans. I actually like to cook these right out of the bag frozen. I take a stainless steel skillet, put a few tablespoons of butter in there and I will pour these right in, put a few cloves of fresh garlic um, and salt and pepper. I learned that from my friend Jen and they're really good that way. So. The next thing is riced cauliflower. So I like to use this um, in place of rice if I'm making a curry or a stir fry, something like that. And these are great because the only ingredients in them are cauliflower and salt. I have seen other riced cauliflowers in the freezer section that have a bunch of additives, sugar even, weird vegetable oils. So these are great. Um, something new that I found were these Folio's cheese wraps. Um, they are made, I believe, with just cheddar cheese. Yeah, just cheddar cheese, and you can use them as a tortilla, obviously as a wrap, you can put cold cuts in them, um, you know, use them for tacos, things like that. They have one carbohydrate per wrap, which is great. 11 grams of protein, 13 grams of fat, so I'm excited to try those. Next, I have this corned beef brisket. They usually have this on sale during this time of year with St. Patrick's Day coming up, so I grabbed one. Um, it was $3.99 a pound this week, but next week I believe it's gonna be $1.99 a pound, so I'll probably pick up another one. Um, and I think I might do a recipe showing you guys how I like to make it, so leave a comment if you'd like to see that. Next up, we have avocados. Now, avocados, as you probably know, are super expensive a lot of the time but I found that Aldi is the cheapest place to get them by far. Usually they run about 79 cents to a dollar per avocado, but this week they were 39 cents a piece, which is amazing. So I picked up a few of those. Another thing I like to buy at Aldi are organic greens. So this time I got baby spinach. I'll throw this in a scramble. I'll put this in soups. Um, you know, use it as you would. The next thing I bought are these cans of Skipjack tuna. Um, I like to buy these at Aldi because, to be honest, Kroger and Walmart don't carry the Skipjack variety. And um, these are sustainably caught, they are wild caught, and they're 95 cents a can, so can't go wrong. One of my favorite things to buy at Aldi is Greek yogurt. So I don't know why, but I have a really hard time finding Greek yogurt that is full fat, plain, no sugar added. So uh, I was really excited to see this there. I know that not everybody considers Greek yogurt to be keto friendly. However, I don't eat it by itself out of a bowl. Um, I usually use it to marinate meat when I'm going to make a curry, or I'll make a tzatziki sauce with it if I make Greek meatballs. By the way, if you want a recipe for low carb curry or Greek meatballs, let me know. Um, so that's a good one. Another thing I really like to get from Aldi is their pure Irish butter. So this is basically a dupe for Kerrygold. Um, it is imported from Ireland. It is made from milk with grass-fed cows, just like Kerrygold. It looks the same, it tastes the same, but it is way cheaper. Kerrygold, where I live can run you almost $4, sometimes even more, but this is consistently $2.99 for a package like this. So I've got a few of those. 
Another thing that Aldi has, which is very similar to Kerrygold, is their grass-fed cheese. So again, this is made with milk from grass-fed cows. I got the vintage Irish cheddar cheese. We really like this one. They also have a mild cheddar as well as an aged cheddar. And um, this, you know, will shred over scrambled eggs. We'll just slice it and eat it as is. There's, you know, obviously a lot of things you can do with cheese. Now this one is a little bit unsuspecting. So these are their organic uncured beef hot dog. These are great when you need to put something together in a pinch and they actually have some really good ingredients for hot dogs at least. They're made with 100% grass fed beef, which is really cool. Um, and the ingredients are organic beef, water, and then salt and some spices and that's it. There's nothing else. Um, they're fully cooked and yeah, they taste really good. My husband really likes those actually. Next, I have this organic coffee. It says it's from Nicaragua. It's a medium roast. It's USDA organic, fair trade. This was $5.29, um, which is a good price for organic coffee, especially if it's fair trade and from a single origin like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Last but not least, we have these. So these are by Benton's. They are keto-friendly chocolate chip cookies. Um, and these ones are supposed to be two net carbs. These ones are zero net carbs. And to be honest with you, I tend to count total carbs. I just find it easier. And also keto products that are in a package like this, a lot of times, a lot of times, have a really high total carb count and then they add a bunch of fiber to it to bring the net carbs down. Um, but these are actually not too bad and the ingredients aren't bad either. So in the ones with two net carbs, you have ground sunflower seeds, RSPO certified palm oil. I'm not sure what that means. Um, eggs, chocolate chips, which are sugar, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, natural vanilla extract. They have xylitol, erythritol, sodium caseinate, which is milk protein, ground pumpkin seeds, butter, water, inulin, which is a dietary fiber, salt, vanilla extract, and it has some acacia gum, baking powder, and uh, natural flavoring. So not the best ingredients, but not the worst either. And then these ones are zero net carbs. They are made with almond flour, erythritol, chocolate chips, which are chocolate liqueur, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, vanilla extract, and stevia. They also have coconut oil, butter, egg whites, natural vanilla flavor, hydrolyzed collagen, baking soda, xanthan gum, sea salt, and stevia. So these aren't too bad. Um, I did taste these ahead of time and I'll just show you what they look like. These are the two carb ones. These are about that size. They're like kind of soft. They're a weird texture. Um, you can taste the erythritol in these um, for sure. And uh, they're okay, kind of weird. Um, you definitely get more. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> you definitely get a little bit of an a, like a sweetener aftertaste with these. And then these ones, the zero net carb ones, they're a smaller cookie, but they're more um, like crispy. You can taste the erythritol a little bit, but I think these are much better. These taste more similar to like the Chips Ahoy crispy cookies. They do have a little bit of the erythritol taste, but it's a little bit more subtle than the others. I think I like these ones better. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that little Aldi grocery haul and stay tuned next week for a new recipe. If you like this video, again, please comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. The next thing I got are cans of skipjack tuna. I like the skipjack because it is, gee whiz, get it together Liv.